Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a retro sci-fi hologram. I provided this background for you to download so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video's description or project files. Open a photo of someone or something you'd like to use for this project. The first step is to isolate the subject from its background. To do this requires you to make a selection of the subject's shape. I covered how to make selections in many of my tutorials. Choose the method that's the easiest and most effective for you. Once you make the selection, press Ctrl J on a PC or Command J on a Mac to cut the subject from its background and copy it to its own layer. To place it into the hologram document, Press V to open your Move tool, click on your subject, and drag it up onto the tab of the hologram background. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the image and then release. To reposition it, just drag it. If you want to resize your subject, press Ctrl or Command T to open your Transform tool. Go to a corner, and when you see a straight double arrow, Press and hold Shift and Alt on a PC or Shift and Option on a Mac and drag it in or out. When you're happy with the size, click on the check mark at the top or press Enter or Return. We'll make three copies of the subject by pressing Ctrl or Command J three times. We'll name the top layer No Filter, the layer below it Wave, the layer below that, Diffuse Glow, and the bottom subject, Blur. Click off the eyeballs of the top three layers to hide the layers, and with the Blur layer active, change the Blend Mode to Soft Light. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it by 2.5 pixels. Double click on the thumbnail to open the layer style window. Click Inner Glow and the color box. Pick White and make the Blend Mode Linear Dodge. Make the opacity 20% and the size 18 pixels. Click Outer Glow, the color box, and pick White. The blend mode is normal, the opacity is 20 pixels, and the size is 24 pixels. Make the diffuse glow layer visible and active. Make the blend mode overlay and the opacity 20%. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Distort folder and choose Diffuse Glow. Make the graininess 0, the glow amount 9, and the clear amount 4. Then click OK. Make the wave layer visible and active. Change the blend mode to hard light and the opacity to 50 percent. Go to Filter, Distort, and Wave. The number of generators is 5, the wavelength is 1 and 2, the amplitude is 1 and 6, the scale is 100 and 1, the type is sine, and repeat edge pixels. Make the top layer visible and active. Click down on the layer again and release. Position your cursor between this layer and the layer below it. Press and hold Alt or Option. When you see the Clip to Layer icon appear, click down. The icon changes and the layer scoots to the right. This indicates that the layer is clipping to the one layer beneath it. Change the Blend Mode to Overlay and the Opacity to 80%. Click the New Layer button to make a new layer.
We'll fill it with a solid medium gray color. Click the foreground color and type in 50% for brightness. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the layer with the foreground color. To make the colors revert back to their default colors of black and white respectively, click on the small double box or press the letter D on your keyboard. Go back to Filter and Filter Gallery. This time, open the Sketch folder and choose Halftone Pattern. Make the size 1, the contrast 25, and the pattern type Line. We need to compress the lines more to make them tighter. To do this, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Right now, the width and the height are both 100%. In the Height field, type in 50%. Then press Enter or Return. Go to View and make sure Snap is checked. If it isn't, click on it. Press and hold Shift as you drag it straight down until it snaps to the bottom of your document. Make a copy of the layer and press and hold Shift as you drag the copy to the top until it snaps in place. Merge the two layers by pressing Ctrl or Command E. We'll make this a clipping layer as well. Repeat the steps that you did earlier. Reduce its opacity to 20%. Let's place all the layers of the subject into a folder. To do this, go to the bottom layer and shift click on it. This makes all the layers between the top layer and this layer active. Press Ctrl or Command G. This places all of the active layers into a folder. Click on the Adjustment Layer button and choose Hue Saturation. Click the Clip to Layer icon to make this adjustment layer clip to the folder. By doing this, all the layers in just the folder will be adjusted according to our choices we make in the adjustment layer. Check Colorize and make the Hue 208, the Saturation plus 79, and the Lightness plus 7. The final step is to make the hologram have a bit more contrast. Click on the Adjustment layer again and this time choose Brightness and Contrast. Click the Clip to Layer icon and make the Contrast plus 55. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.